Hi friends. Today we're going to read Mr. Goat's Valentine. So let me share my screen. Mr. Goat read the headline in the Goat Times. It's Valentine's Day. He dropped his newspaper, jumped up, got his wallet and a cell phone and put on his bird's nest hat. I'm off to show my first love how much she means to me, he told his cat Bernice, Beatrice rather. Meow, Beatrice said and yawned. I don't think Beatrice looks like she cares. <laughs> on the way, Mr. Goat passed Miss Nanny Goat's weed stall. I'll have a mixed bouquet, Mr. Goat said. Crabgrass, pig weeds, and ragweed in that nice rusty can. They're for my first love. She's fond of a ragweed salad. She'll like the can too, Miss Nanny Goat told him. Mr. Goat nodded. Cans are tasty with a sprinkle of salt. <laughs> he is a goat after all. He had only gone a few more steps when he smelled a delightful smell. Mr. Pygmy Little Goat had a stall under a tree. He was selling his delicious rotten eggs. He had opened one as a sample. It lay on his counter, black and oozing. Rot it for two years, he told Mr. Goat. Guaranteed, foul and disgusting. Mr. Goat drooled, I'll take four. Two for my first love and two for me. We always share. He watched as Mr. Pygmy Little Goat arranged them in a red box and tied the box with a pretty red ribbon. Perfect, Mr. Goat said. They're so ripe I can smell them even through the shells. My first love and I will share the pretty red ribbon for dessert. <laughs> so they're even gonna eat the ribbon. He walked on, breathing in the delightful smell of rotten eggs with every step. Miss Skunk came by with her perfume cart. She sniffed hopefully. What is that delicious smell, she asked. Rotten eggs, Mr. Goat said. Miss Skunk smiled. They smell like me. May I try one? Sorry, Mr. Goat wound his front legs around his egg box. These are for my first love. It's Valentine's Day. Miss Skunk cocked her head. Do you have a Valentine's card for her? No, I have presents. Too bad for Valentine's Day, you need a card. Miss Skunk sprayed Mr. Goat. This is for you, Mr. Goat. You smell that you'll smell nice for her. Nice as your eggs. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Miss Skunk. Mr. Goat sat under a tree and thought hard. Perhaps Miss Skunk was right. I do not have a card for my first love, he told himself, but I'll compose a song and serenade her. It was shady and cool under the tree. He sang, thinking, and he sat thinking, and before long, he had the words of a song. Hooray! He straightened his bird's nest hat and hurried on. Soon he came to the house of his first love. Oh, he thought, I hope she's home. I should have called first. Mr. Goat burst into song. When I was a little kid, it didn't matter what I did. If I climbed too high and fell, you'd kiss the hurt and make it well. You have loved me from the start. I love you with all my heart. That was his song. The door opened and there she was. Happy Valentine's Day, mother. It was his mom. Yeah, so that was nice of him. He brought her some uh, something she'd enjoy. <laughs> I don't think I'd want rotten eggs for Valentine's Day, but I'm sure Mrs. Goat liked it. And uh, he got her some flowers and he made up a song for her. So I think she was probably a very happy mom. Yep. <laughs> so what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Are you going to make a picture for your mom or your um, whatever the important adults are in your life? Um, or are you going to uh, make up a song? Or I know a couple of boys and girls who, who make up really great songs. Um, or you could color something, or you could um, maybe cook something. I'm sure whatever you do to show the people that you love them, I'm sure they will really like it. All right. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.